The legend of Marilyn Monroe, it never Someone dies. Someone told me. And there is a new play that's going to be playing in Hamilton this weekend that imagines what might happen if she were to come back from the dead. And a legend in her own right, Canadian actress Noni Griffin, stars in the production of Marilyn After. Not only do you star, Noni, you penned it as well. I did. I did. I wrote it. I started to write it. I, I had been at the Edinburgh Festival with a play I wrote. Somebody there said, you know, Nani, you should do Marilyn Monroe. I thought, oh, huh. well, of course, I always loved her. I was going to say, well, what, what, what was it about Marilyn Monroe that you loved so well, much? Well, first of all, I used to be compared to her a bit. I can see that. Believe it or not. I can see, I can, I can see that. <laughs> In the old days. Yeah, no, still. Uh, but still, uh, I loved her. Because, yeah. you know, she's quite an actress. I know that people perhaps think, dumb. Oh, no. She was smart. She, was, she had so much going for her. So I started to think about it. Then I got all kinds of books and started to write it. So it was September 2012 that I started it. It took me eight months. Solid. It was like doing it for two or three years because I spent every day reading, then putting it together, then reading more and more. I've got a pile of books at home. You probably found out so much about her that you didn't know. Oh, yeah. Was there, was there one thing that stands, up, that stands out that you didn't know about Marilyn that, that shocked you? I don't know if I should tell you, because people should come to see the show. Oh, there you go. There's, <laughs> oh, there's the hook. But it's pretty yeah. shocking, okay. friends. It's quite shocking. You'll be surprised, let's put it that way. So A lot of people don't know some of these things. Tell us about the play, though, because it, it, it's her coming back from the dead. She does. She comes back. She says, I never had a chance to be my older self. And so here I am. Well, what do you know? <laughs> and, what and then she talks about her, uh, who she, she loved older people. She wanted to come back older because she said, I never had a chance to be my older self. And she had great respect for older people. There was a lot more to her than meets the eye. A heck of a lot. Tremendous mind. She had to have to survive the life she had. She had a very hard life, friends. Very. You know, lots of people do. Sure. Yeah. But somehow she, she made it. She, she got there with her determination, her love for acting, which I can identify yeah. with. Me too, yeah. me too. What is it about that? Why? Why would, do you love acting? No, you don't act. Well, uh, you know, honestly, I did. I did you? I, I did. Were I you did. an actor? I, I did, but I wasn't very good at it. I wasn't very good at it, but I will tell you this, I have done a few plays in the past, and being on stage, and you can attest to this, but being on stage compared to um, a camera, Right? So, so right now, we don't, we, there's an audience out there, but we don't see the audience out there, or we don't hear the audience but out there. But we know you're there. But we know you're there, <laughs> right? But the great thing about stage, and correct me if I'm wrong, that I really enjoyed about it, is you have the audience out there, so you get that immediate reaction. Absolutely. Their presence. So I'm, I always think of that when I'm on television or do film, because they're the other part. They're the most important part. Well, not the most, no, but, no, 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 but they're part yeah. of this show. So yeah, I love to do theater to get that reaction. Is, being, I, is, is on the stage home for you? Like, do you feel just at, at home when you're on Absolutely at home. Absolutely. Has it, it has, it, has it changed over the years at all? No, it's my home. I like coming home. And I like coming to Hamilton, because I have played here before. Yeah. Yes, but the Staircase Theater is Terrific. Yeah. Darren Stewart Jones, what a job he's done bringing shows like the Judy Garland yeah. and this, because he has an eye. He's a true producer. Yeah. The, there aren't many of them, dear. What's it like being on stage by yourself? It's wonderful. It, it, but it's, it's gotta be, it has to be daunting, though, right? Because the, whole, cause the entire time the audience is, is focused on, on that you. That is true. But of course, it's not just me. They're listening to the story. It's the story. We all love stories. Yeah. So it's the same as going to a movie. If you're hearing this, I'm sure you're seeing me. I hope you like me. But it's the story. We're running out of time, but we have to say about, we have to talk about some inspiring news. Ooh. Yes, the yes. inspiring news yes. is? We're taking the show to New York. Yes. In October. 
That's so great. <laughs> Off Broadway. In, yes, in, in, yes. When, when is that? It's October 3rd. So, Octo so October the 3rd. But here's the thing. You can see it at the Staircase Theatre in Hamilton coming <laughs> up on Friday and Saturday night, January the 23rd and 24th at 7.30, Maryland After, starring Canadian legend Noni Griffin. Nani. Nani, Nani, Nani. Nani Griffin is in Bonnie. Bonnie. That's okay, Tim. Nani. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Okay, Tim. Great to be here. Yes. <laughs> Lots more actually great wrap up the show when we come back right after this. Tiffany's. <laughs>